Right guys, welcome back to yet another reaction video. Today we look at Hakeem Olajuwon. And that is a name that I have... Uh, I've never actually said it out loud, would you believe, but I've certainly read it a fair few times. And I'm assuming it's because he holds the NBA scoring title. The NBA scoring record, sorry. The titles in a particular year. The record is overall. And I'm also led to believe that LeBron James may be coming real damn close to overtaking that this, this coming season. If that's true, I, you know, do I deserve a pat on the back? I should probably know that already, being a, a sports fan. Either way, guys, Hakeem Olajuwon, number 14 on the list of the top 30 NBA players of all time. Hakeem the Dream, Olajuwon's inclusion on this part, in, in this part of the list, needs no explanation. He's one of the best big men ever. You could quibble about Olajuwon only winning his two NBA titles while Michael Jordan was retired, well, that's interesting. But if you do, you don't understand how hard it is to win a championship. And look, let's be honest. You know, game... Jeez, it's, it's hard enough to win one, one fucking series of seven, let alone an actual championship. I mean, the, the, yeah, it's... Come to think of it, I haven't really thought about that, but that's a lot of games. That's a lot of games. Olajuwon was not only the MVP for both of those NBA Finals appearances, but he also took home a league MVP in 1994, appeared in 12 All-Star games as the NBA's all-time leader in blocks with 3,830 and as a member of the NBA's 75th anniversary team. So he's not the all-time leader in points. I must have him confused with Kareem something. I'm not going to try and pronounce his name yet because I'm assuming he's going to come later in the list. Either way... It's still bewildering to watch old highlights and see how smooth Olajuwon, a true dominant force on both sides of the ball, was able to move was able to move in the paint for a player of his size. Even more impressive for the context of Olajuwon's career is that he did it he did all of this while big men ran the NBA outside of Michael Jordan. Okay. He got 3830 blocks for God's sake. He's no Sean Bradley, and the only reason I know Sean Bradley is because I played NBA 2K3. Uh, we're talking 2003, guys. That's probably before a lot of you were born. Um, and Sean Bradley was seven foot six, and <laughs> you know, <laughs> I actually remember. Look, if you got a, he, he's great at blocking. He's absolutely fantastic at blocking. But once he's got the ball in his hands and you try and do a crossover, the ball's going out. The ball's going out instantly. So he was, you know, he certainly wasn't on opposite on, on both sides of the ball, but it seems Hakeem the Dream, a larger one, was. The Dream Shake will forever be one of the most iconic moves in NBA history. And for that, we will always be thankful for Hakeem Alajuwon. The Dream Shake. Will we see it? Only time will tell. Let's watch Hakeem Alajuwon. Until we're impressed. Until we're impressed. And a steal by Strickland, a lazy pass. Oh my god! I didn't know who it was. I didn't know if it was the guy who lost the ball. I didn't know if it was the guy who made the steal. But now I certainly know. He got 3,800 and something fucking blocks in, the, in his um, NBA career. And, um,. Look, I'm impressed already, but I do want to... Well, let's just... I don't want to... Fucking hell. The way to... How did he make it back? He's got speed. Oh, Ewing took a shot from Elijah Oh, that is just absolute dominance. Oh, get the... Oh, mate. Look at the big... The fucking huge. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. I don't know if they look so tall because they're... They don't look like Shaq. Let's be fair. I don't know if they. I don't know if they look so tall because they're not 350 odd pounds, but they look extremely tall. We're gonna see one more play, but I'm. Fu Have a look at this. Oh my God! With ease. Oh, for God's sake! No one. He just got. He just got a game high three blocks in fucking three seconds. Ridiculous. Thanks for watching, and uh, well, I'll see you in the next one.